Hello there, welcome to my channel once again and today I'm going to use uh, the switch function in Microsoft uh, Access and uh, previ in my previous video I talked about if but if is somehow limited in a way because you can only evaluate one item but here we're going to evaluate a uh, very many items so I remember when I took you to the forms and uh, I used this form and uh, you see here we have if amount is greater than uh, 5,000 it brings 5,000 if it is less than uh, 5,000 it brings 5,000 but we want to now use a scenario we are we are evaluating like uh, uh, say three, uh, three, three, three cases uh, so uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to use a form to illustrate uh, the uh, uh, to illustrate the uh, the the switch function in Microsoft Access. So assuming that we want to evaluate three scenarios, and here I'm just going to check if design. We want to evaluate three scenarios. Uh, say amount greater than amount. Uh, okay, amount less than. Say uh, amount less than. Um, let's use amount greater than uh, one thousand. want to evaluate amount greater than 1000 and then amount greater than say 4000 then amount uh, greater than uh, says 10000 assuming maybe you wanted to give credit depending on the amount uh, that is um, that is uh, captured in the system depending on what customers purchased so we want to evaluate these three scenarios so if the amount is greater than 1000 uh, we want to return some message or some something uh, but however if it is between 1000 and 4000 again we, uh, uh, rather if it is uh, greater than 1000 we want to return a message but uh, uh, if it doesn't, uh, uh, if it reaches uh, 4,000 and above, we want to return a different message. And if it reaches 10,000 and above, we want to return a different message. So in this case, the if can work, but it is very complicated and it can get confusing because we, we, you have to use what we call nested ifs. So here in this case, you use what we call a case. The case is a uh, case function is very 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 interesting so here I'm going to say I'm going to uh, rather you use a switch switch you know I'm, I'm a programmer and uh, uh, in some programming languages called you uh, it's called case but in this in this one uh, we call it switch switch please use switch like this switch the switch uh, we, t we use turn on and off lights in our, in our houses so it's as simple as that switch so you open uh, brackets so you just type amount it's very interesting and simple amount if amount uh, greater than or equal to 1000 you can just well say that uh, you want to return what we call a uh, uh, let's say return some text a, a greater greater than a thousand okay comma you see now here you type amount 
amount greater than or equal to 4,000 comma put again that amount greater than 4,000 close make sure that you use this uh, um, double quote so comma so you can put as much as maybe a hundred scenarios uh, depending on what you are trying to evaluate amount Because I can't do anything now because of that door. Then amount greater than ten thousand, then you you put in uh, quotes the what you want to return. Amount greater an error I said I'll not remove the errors from edit them out from the video because they also so I was forgetting to put they also help you to learn I was I was forgetting to put the closing uh, quote so you, this is the switch function you can see how it works so let's see what let's see if it is working so Okay, uh, it has returned an error, and uh, let's see if we can troubleshoot this error. So you know the error is here, amount, should be amounts. You see the error here? Okay, um... Okay, you realize that my uh, uh, my uh, concept was not working because first of all, uh, I forgot to put an S here. I also had forgotten to uh, add the uh, closing quote. So make sure that this amount, amount is well referenced here. Uh, so it is amounts here and this is what you should also use here. If you're evaluating unit price, this is what you should do, uh, use. So um, you can see uh, my formula my formula is is coming out and uh, this is the, 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 the switch function and just for you to take note uh, ladies and gentlemen when you are evaluating such a scenario start with the highest amount 10 and then you go to 4 and then 1000 errors you will get wrong uh, information because you find a scenario whereby if the amount is greater than uh, 1,000, 
even if the amount is eight, uh, maybe 200,000, it, it will return 1,000 message. Uh, it will just say amount is greater than 1,000. So you, for greater than, you will start with the big amount. For less than, you start with the small amounts if you are to get the right information. So this is the, the switch formula here. Uh, just pull it off and uh, probably put it in Word such that it can easily be uh, this, uh, it can easily be seen you can easily see it so this is the function you see this is how it looks like uh, you can expand it switch eh? this is how it looks like so this switch checks out and it brings uh, these uh, uh, these uh, th these different um, out outcomes and uh, uh, let me see now if it works save yes and then i check it out see if it works yes 10000 greater than 10000 600000 yes it is greater than 10000 2500 is greater than 1000 so it's evaluating uh, based on the set standards so 60000 we didn't put in a standard uh, 40,000 is greater than 10,000. You see, so if you change this one set to 300, you'll get greater than uh, 4,000. I think you get the logic, ladies and gentlemen. So this is how we can use case case scenarios. Uh, just to make it more interesting, assuming that you wanted to maybe uh, capture tax, uh, assuming that... Uh, we wanted to show the tax, the tax payable, and uh, uh, assuming that anything greater than ten thousand, the tax is. I'm just going to make slight change here. The the, the tax is twenty percent, uh, and then amount greater than four thousand. Instead of returning tax, now we want to return numbers. The tax is ten percent. Because 4,000 is a small amount, so the tax becomes small. And then for anything uh, at 10,000, the tax is, I'm returning now maybe 2%. Yeah, maybe 2%. See? So, so assuming this, we are checking to see the taxes payable. So you can see, let me check. Yes, it, it is allocating taxes, uh, tax rates according to uh, the amount. Anything above uh, 10,000, someone pays 20%. Anything above uh, 4,000, someone pays 10%. 10 and anything above 1,000 uh, to 4,000, some, someone pays uh, uh, 2%. Uh, I think you can see how the whole thing works. Yeah, and uh, you can apply this as well in queries. Let me try to go to queries. In the put the same, the same thing. I have a query already designed. And uh, uh, I'm going to put here probably tax rate. Uh, you see the tax rate. Now we are going to evaluate tax rate. And uh, uh, I'm going to copy this, uh, but here I can say 20%. I'm going to copy this formula rather than typing it again. It's the same thing, it will work. And uh, for amount greater than 10,000, 20%. For amount greater than or equal to 4,000, 10%. And then for amount for amount uh, greater than or equal to 1,000, uh, 2%. So uh, assuming that you're working on a payroll system and you want to evaluate tax payable for each employee, so this is how you do it. So let me see if it is going to work. Uh, you type this in here in Microsoft Access and uh, you type like that, tax rate, semicolon, then 
drop it there like that. Let me see. I don't need the equal sign at the after tax rate. Uh huh. That is okay. And we show here. It, it tick this such that it shows up. I save this so you can see. Let's check. You see, tax is here. 20 here, 20 here, 2, depending on the amount. So I'm just trying to show you uh, how to apply switch. And uh, for this 90 or less, you could as well say those ones don't pay taxes because the amounts are small. Okay. <laughs> they don't pay taxes because the amounts are small. So we can also tweak it there and they say, I can edit this. Okay, it's moving so fast. I can edit this. So that I have a scenario where I say if amounts amounts uh, uh, greater than or equal to zero then tax rate is zero let's see whether it's going to work Yes, it is working very well. And uh, it even brings here less than, less than. This column is for if, I used if, but here I'm using uh, the switch, switch, switch. So uh, so that's how you use uh, the switch. You can as well apply it in a, um, in a, a, a table, in a, a, in a, not a table. You can apply it in a report. And go to report wizard and we see how we can apply. I'm going to replace this one and they and they put uh, the switch function and we see how it works. Uh, uh, to save time I'm just going to copy this. Copy the whole of this. Copy And we we'll see what what it brings. Yes, save, and then check it out. Is it working? Yes. Anything above uh, ten thousand taxes twenty percent. Uh, so, so that's how you use the, the if uh, rather the switch function to uh, to allocate the relevant data to the different uh, 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 different scenarios. You can even use the if function to check uh, the is null if a column doesn't uh, uh, doesn't have information. You can ch say if this this uh, this uh, this record doesn't have the address, then you can default it to USA. So you can use uh, uh, the, 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 the 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 switch and the if in different scenarios. But I think. The, the applicability it will depend on what you are trying to achieve ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for listening to my uh, uh, to listening to me re uh, reviewing my video and please remember to subscribe to my channel share the video uh, make comments please hit the notification button uh, like the video and uh, I wish you the best and I'll be posting uh, more videos in the coming months. Thank you very much. Uh, bye for now.